Almost had it that time. There we go. Wah! That's my new method of backstabbing. Or uh, face stabbing, I guess. My, my new method of backstabbing is to face stab, is what I'm getting at. I'm on a killing spree now, guys. Imperial bow. Um, I'll take that, and I will replace it with. Let's see how much. Thirty-six. Actually, it's not even close to being better. I'll just put that there. My nightingale bow is amazing. I for I keep forgetting that. I haven't found an upgrade for it just yet that even comes close. Okay. Hallway, hallway. I think that goes up to the main floor. What's in here? Ooh! Okay. Master key, Nordmead. Alright. Ooh. Soul Gem! Can I maybe recharge my weapon? Uh, no, nah, that's all the Soul Gems I had. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna just eat some of this. Om um, nom 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 nom. I'm sure none of that will really affect me all that much. What's up in here? Ooh, Emperor's Quarters? <laughs> yes! Unlocked with the Master Key! Oh, this is gonna be all kinds of crazy. And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told you, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come on, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. Remain silent. You and I have a date with destiny, it would seem. But so it is with assassins and emperors. Hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? Remain silent. You will hear me out then? Good. You will kill me, and I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So I ask of you a favor, an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you have been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Remain silent. Well, perhaps you'll at least consider it. Hmm? Now, on to the business set out. He's just going to stare out a window. Okay. Well, I won't fight you. So we may as well get this over with. Man, it just takes the fun out of it. That put the fun back in it. Awesome. All right. Uh, I want your clothes. Give me your clothes. And I want your boots. Give me your boots. And I'm not encumbered. I am going to leave. And there we go! We killed the Emperor! Awesome! 
It is a fine day for science. As the sun dawns over the world. Let's see here. Alright, well I guess we gotta go talk to Mr. Dude now. And, uh... Get our payment for that. Which we just did. You can't pass travel when enemies are nearby. Well, I guess enemies would be nearby. Swan dive! I kind of wonder what his reaction is actually going to be. Mission accomplished, bro. Did it. Did it. Um, money, please. There's a nip in the air. Money please, money please, money please, money please, money please. Come on in. Just do 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 my friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire. Indeed, all of Tamriel in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Says you. Hata! What is this madness? Hata, hata, hata! We had a deal. That for now. Your face had a deal. Diamond, emerald, garnet, ruby, sapphire. And I'll leave you your pants, because uh, I don't really want your pants. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I'll give you do 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 um some robe or no, I'll give you this armor. There you go. There you go, buddy. Eh. Eh. Oh. You think I'm afraid of you? Run away. Run away. Sheath weapons. Crimes against Skyrim and the people. What say you in your defense? Oh, you caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Smart man. Now. I only just killed the emperor, and then the guy who contracted me to kill the emperor. I mean, eh, you know, not that much. Actually, it's quite a deal. Thousand gold for uh, killing the emperor and uh, the guy contracted to kill the emperor. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm glad it's Black Friday. I do all my shopping on Black Friday. Anyway, let's go pick up our payment. Money, 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 money. And I think it's, uh, or at least it should be, down here, through this door, and in this urn. <gasps> oh, yeah! All that friggin' money, and more money. Ball. Feeling pretty good. I am feeling pretty, pretty good, pretty good, good, good. And like, it's nice that that war axe is still sitting there. I remember getting all disturbed by that first time I came in here. I was just like, oh, what the hell? Anyway, uh, let's go talk to Nazir, I guess, because they should be in. Dawnstar. 
Oh, no, that's not it. That's over here. Dawnstar Sanctuary. It should be right in here. feeling that this was going to eventually become a base of operations. It was way too well laid out to just be a random dungeon. Hi. I'll admit, I'm having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow Nazir's lead. You do that. Hi. Well, what word of the Emperor? Killed him. Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stay true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? This many. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Awesome. And I think that is it just about is it. Done. Oop. Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. No. Nope. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Nope. Speak with the corrupt agent at the Penitus Oculatus outpost in Dragonbridge. Accept his yep. goal. I'll do that later. Kill the target. She's still talking to me in the loading screen. Ah! Oh, hi. Remain silent. Oh, yes. It is Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be a listener. Not you. Now you will die. Really? You butthole. <laughs> oh! <Gotcha. laughs> okay. Oh, Lister, you should see the look on your face. <laughs> Dude, that wasn't funny. Oh, Cicero has returned. Not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends. Forever. Yay! In the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure Mother needs tending. That might not go well. But sure, okay. Why not? <laughs> For a second, man, my heart stopped. I was like, seriously, I spared that guy just for him to come back and kill me later. Are you kidding me? Oh. Right, I gotta go talk, okay. Um, be back in a second. Well guys, that about does it for the Dark Brotherhood. Thank you for watching so much. Um, before we completely skedaddle and quit, I am going to so show you guys the finished sanctuary with all the upgrades really quick. Um, and explain some other things you get from finishing this quest line. Uh, it's actually been a little bit since I finished the game. Um, since I stopped recording the series, it's probably been about three weeks. So, uh, 
I'm just doing this as a final closer with uh, everything else I've found out about the uh, the Dark Brotherhood, just to give you guys one last to say over and done with, basically. All right, so first and foremost, um, you can actually get a secret sort of tunnel to Dawnstar that I just used. You access it behind that one little rock up in the little place. And that allows you a very quick way into the sanctuary and a very quick way back out through the little um, stained glass portrait. The next thing you get is an alchemy lab and a bunch of random supplies and ingredients that grow around in this little place. And I picked them a while ago and they haven't really respawned yet. If you saved Cicero, Cicero is available as a... Uh, God freaking interrupting me! Whatever. Patron yeah, yeah, I know. Yep, yep. Th okay. Accept his goal, uh. then kill the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. That starts to get annoying after a while, but basically the deal is that's a repeatable quest. Every time you go up to the Night Mother and you don't have the quest started, she gives you a quest to do a kill contract for um, about a hundred, uh, no wait, a thousand gold for just a random NPC and it is repeatable and you can do it as many times as you want and there's some good diversity so if you're looking to make a lot of money you can just use that. Um, this is the master bedroom. On this little podium when you first get in here there is a set of gloves called the Tumbler Bane Gloves and those give you a plus 30 bonus to lock picking or something but this just serves as a normal bedroom and it's pretty nice to have in here the only qualm i have with it is it takes a little while to walk between the master bedroom and the rest of the area um but that's not a huge deal i guess it i just kind of wish that they had spaced this out a little bit better so like the master bedroom would be in here or something i don't know that's that's a detail that isn't really a huge deal. Cicero is available as a companion if you rescued him. If you killed him, he's not. Um, you can continue to get quests from Nazir if you want to. But the most interesting application that you can buy, other than the flags, I think. I might be leaving out one more thing, but I can't remember what it was for the life of me. The most interesting thing you can get is a torture chamber. And... You can talk to pretty much all of these torture victims, and they will eventually uh, give up a location that is kind of random where they have a little bit of loot. And if you want to level some skills up, they take a fair amount of damage before, you know, they end up dying. So, for I mean, for not wearing armor or anything, they take a lot of damage. So this is a very good place to train your skills, I would I would think. I think. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Other than High Rothgar, but there's... I'm not going to go into that. So, uh, that's pretty much the entire sanctuary. When I first got in here, I had no idea what this torture room was for, so I was like, um... What could I use this torture room for? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dovahkiin, and I am uh, performing my first time at the Dark Brotherhood Comedy Club. Um, I hope you will give me a warm round of applause, as I really haven't done anything stand-up like this before. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but um, I'll I'll just I have I have note cards here, and I'm just gonna read off a couple a couple warm-ups just to get started. Um, so let's see here. Uh, why does a chicken coop only have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. That was a funny joke. Chicken sedan. Those have four doors. But see, chickens don't... They don't drive sedans because they're chickens. So, um, okay. Next, next question. Uh, the next one is, um, what is a dentist's favorite musical instrument? Anyone know that one? It's, it's a tuba toothpaste. Because... Tube and tuba, you see, they sound the same, but they're spelled different. They mean different things in the English language. Because it, it's a pun. Okay. Um, Alright, I've got another one. Um, a man went to a psychiatrist and he said, Doc, 
I, I keep having these alternating recurring dreams. First I'm a teepee, and then I'm a wigwam, and then I'm a teepee, and then I'm a wigwam. It's driving me crazy. What's wrong with me? And the doctor said, it's very simple. You're too tense. That, that, was, that, was, that was another another pun. Um, and that's how I found out that that wasn't what this room was for.